to uh, moving through the process. With that, let me yield to uh, my very good friend, distinguished ranking member, for any questions he may have. Well, thank you, I'll be, and I'll be brief. I, first of all, I, I want to uh, echo what the uh, chairman said, that uh, we began this with high praise for all of you uh, for the product uh, that you brought before the Rules Committee today. I mean, 63 to 0 is a unanimous vote. I mean, it, it, it's hard to get agreement on what to have for lunch, never mind on an <laughs> FAA uh, uh, bill of, of this magnitude. Um, I will say that um, when we considered the De National Defense Authorization Act, that came out of the Armed Services Committee 58 to 1, uh, which is a pretty bipartisan vote. And then the Rules Committee screwed it up by making amendments in order that a fringe element of the Republican caucus insisted on, and then you had a very, very partisan vote at the end. I mean, if that's, you know, so I would, I would hope that you would urge the Rules Committee, don't screw it up. Don't re do a repeat of what they did last week because um, you will not have a bipartisan vote. You will have a very, very partisan vote. Let me just say one other thing, and that is that there are a lot of um, uh, issues that are of concern. Some of us are very concerned about the, inc uh, the um, increase in retirement age for pilots. Uh, Mr. Bergman and uh, Mr. Garcia have an amendment which I strongly support. I think that's a mistake. Um, and no matter where you are on that issue, I think we would all agree that we should debate that issue on the floor and there should be a vote. We agreement on that? Okay. Well, so here's my, I just, uh, so I, before we report this rule out, here's one of the little, little challenges that we, we faced. So, you know, if, if we were simply coming to the Rules Committee and someone was offering an amendment to in, increase the retirement age, there'd be no issue. Uh, but because that's in the bill and we're asking to go back to where it was, CBO scores it. Um, and CBO, I, I don't know, I think it's like $8 million or whatever like that. So there are a number of ways we can fix this. We can waive cut go, which is probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. We can find an offset for, for this so that it can be offered, uh, because I do think it's an important enough issue to be able to, we should have a debate and a vote on it. Um, or we could, you know, do a self-executing rule that gets us back to what it was before it was amended, um, and then make an order of the amendment to raise the retirement age. Uh, but however the chairman and his wisdom decides to do it, I hope that we will find a way to make sure that, um, you know, the uh, Bergman-Garcia at, at all amendment um, can have its day. Are you going to tell me you got to take care of uh, Gentleman Yield. Yes. I, I just make a quick point. You sat in this chair. The chairman always has the responsibility. The chairman doesn't always make the decisions. I yield back to my friend. <laughs> and and I know left to his own devices, he would make the right decision. Um, but I, I, I do think that this is a serious enough issue where we ought to find an accommodation so that there is a vote um, and there is a, I, what was the vote on raising the retirement age in the committee? Um, my recollection, it was 32-31. So it's pretty divided, right? So the, yeah. there was a, there's, there's a division on this. It's, it's one of these issues, again, I, I, would, I would hope that you will work with the chairman and, and whoever's making the decisions, right, uh, to say that this, this, is, this can be fixed, right? I don't know how it will turn out if there was a floor vote. But it can, you know, it can be fixed a number of ways, which is not going to, you know, cause a lot of, you know, shouldn't cause a lot of consternation. But I mean, but again, eight million dollars. I think I think it's eight million. Do you know what the CBO score is on this? Six. So six million. I mean, if we keep that, talking about it. It might be even more. Right. Well, but in the scheme of things, if if we had to find an offset, if that's the way that you chose to go, I mean, you, you ought to be able to find six million dollars, um, in order so that we can have this uh, debate and have this vote. And I would just hope we could all work together and make that happen because I think it would be a shame if, you know, we were not able to have that. I don't know how it will turn out, but I, I just think it would be a shame if we didn't have that vote. But again, thank you all for your work, and I yield back. Thank you very much. The gentleman from South Carolina is recognized for any questions he may have for the panel. I want to thank each one of you for coming and spending your time today. Uh, and